Now we're going to look at a retirement problem. A person at age 28 would like to retire at age 65 and have $6,000 a month available to spend during retirement. Assume investments return 100, uh, return 6.5%, and we're going to assume they live to 100 years old as well. Okay, how much will be spent during retirement? Well, A is actually very easy. It's not a financial calculation. You're spending $6,000 a month times and well, how many months do we have? 12 months in a year times, and between ages 65 and 100, we have 35 years. So we can see this person is going to spend a really tremendous amount of money, $2,520,000. So it might seem impossible to save that much money up, $2,520,000. And obviously not many people save that much. But let's see if you really need to save that much and how this all works out with a 6.5% compounding interest. So we're going to enter the finance program first. And first we're going to work on the retirement period. How much is needed the day of retirement in order to fund it? Okay, so the day the person retires, we're going to see what they need. That's present value when they retire. Let's, let's set everything up. Payments are going to be made. We'll say at the end of the period won't make much difference. In this case, if you want to pay yourself at the end of the month or the beginning. And, okay, well they're going to live from 65 to 100, so that's 35 times 12 months. They're earning 6.5% on their investments. We're going to find a present value to afford a $6,000 a month uh, payment to ourselves. So how much would you need to have in your account? And now we find they need to have 993,000. So that's already a lot better. 993,000, 123.75. So it's almost a million dollars. It sounds like an insurmountable goal, but it's certainly better than two and a half million that we started off with, which is what you'll spend. So nearly a million dollars at the beginning of retirement, what you don't spend still earns interest, would allow you to actually pay yourself $2.5 million over those 35 years of retirement. How much needs to be saved each month until age 65? So while you're working, how much do you have to actually save? Now we're going to try and save up that 993000 So I'll transfer it down here. That is now our future value. We're trying to reach that goal of having this amount of money available. Working years we have from 28 to 65. All right, well I can handle this in here. 12 times 65 minus 28. I don't want to do the arithmetic in my head. It tells me I have 444 months to save the money. The money I save is still being invested at 6.5%. Right now I don't believe I have any money saved, although in E we're going to change that where you already had 45000 and we're going to solve for payment. How much do you have to save each month to reach this future goal? And we have $537. Now that might seem a bit shocking, $537.58 a month during your working years from 28 to 65 is sufficient to pay yourself $6,000 a month during those 35 retired years. What is the total amount we're going to save? Well, we don't need a financial calculator part for that. 537.58 times 12 months in a year times, and I forgot what it was, but we'll just do it here, 65 minus 28, that many years. And we see that we've actually saved $238,000, 238,685.52. So we took out of our salary over our working years you know, nearly a quarter million, not an insurmountable, not an insignificant amount of money. It grew to almost a million while we were saving it, and it allowed us to pay ourselves two and a half million. Remarkable multiplier. So it's almost like every dollar we save while we're working turns into ten dollars while we're retired. If she, she or he already has forty-five thousand, how will that change our answer? Now, this is an important point. When I go back to finance, we've glossed over the positive and negatives. When you only have two dollar amounts, it really doesn't matter. If you change one sign, it'll change the other. But here's how we can make kind of a mistake here. I'll make the mistake first and then I'll correct it. If I put 45,000 in as positive, see this negative values, we're taking money from ourselves and putting it in an account. Positive is when we take it back in order to fund our retirement. If I resolve my monthly payment here, it went up. Now it does not make sense that a person that already has 45,000 has to save more than someone that doesn't have any money. The money has to be helping you in some way. It can't be hurting you. And the problem is that those signs have to agree. I need to make that a negative 45,000. So now it's being added to my account along with the monthly payments. And when I solve for monthly payments, I see a remarkable drop. In fact, it dropped to $269. 
47 cents. So you can see that having 45,000 at this age dropped off a significant portion of our monthly savings. And that's the power of compounding interest from age 28 to 65 plus all those years until you actually spend it in your $6,000 check. Hope you found this a helpful video.